Hey guys, how are you doing? One of my audience recently raised a question related to the stolen device protection feature. Like he forgot to turn off the stolen device protection or his phone got damaged. For some reason, he was unable to turn off the stolen device protection. So after logging in with his Apple ID and password on new device, it will allow you to log in. But in order to change the Apple ID credentials or you know the system level settings change, you need to turn off the stolen device protection in order to make such changes. He sees this message that edit account information is not allowed because stolen device protection is turned on your new device cannot be used to edit your account information until certain date this waiting time helps protecting your account to remove a device from your account now use your other apple devices and the mentioned device details will be provided if you have the device nearby you can access and change it then you can of course turn off the stolen device protection from you know within the settings app by navigating inside the face id and passcode entering the phone passcode and scroll down a little bit to access the stolen device protection feature so this is very useful it is a must have security feature but in order to to turn off you need to wait for another one hour on your primary device if you don't have access to that device you have sold it or you have you know kind of lost it then it's in such cases you need to wait in order to get the account reset done your apple id password information can be only changed after the mentioned date apple has to manually verify and send you the credentials or further instructions to reset your apple id and password to your registered email address you cannot bypass this even if you call apple support it is not possible to bypass this restriction that they have in place apple takes the apple id account security things very seriously so it is not possible for us to bypass in any way so the suggested solution is you need to wait till that date and mostly after one or two days from the given date you will receive the instructions to your registered email with the details about how you can proceed to reset your apple id and account from that time your stolen device protection will also be turned off on the device your apple id will not have restrictions you know based on the stolen device protection setting that the primary device had so now you can set up it fresh on your new iphone or you can turn off this feature entirely if you're not planning to use the stolen device protection for some reason so this is how you know the stolen device protection feature turned on and unable to edit account information steps have to be followed i hope this information gave you some clarity if you find this information useful and you think that this will also help your friend who are also experiencing similar problem you can share this video for more useful iphone ipad and mac related tips and tricks don't forget to subscribe thank you and have a wonderful day